Hey everybody, we're having some fun with pumpkins today. Jan from Mayflower Greenhouse. Well, he always comes up with such great ideas. Good morning, Jan. Good morning. Good morning. Uh, how are you? I'm great. The first thing I ask is, uh, how much wine did you drink while you were doing this? <laughs> <laughs> Not much. Uh, well, we, we, did it with a, we did it with a friend. So of course, you have to have a wine. Friends absolutely. Over, absolutely. Some because these are some of the cutest pumpkins I've ever seen. They're just Thank you. crazy, crazy fun ideas. Thank All you. right, let's start with this guy over here. Let's recycle. Uh, this is the old <laughs> tush br I mean, uh, the shaving, shaving brush. brush. Oh. Uh, um, the piece of fabric and uh, some carving and the piece of pen, uh, uh, paintbrush, and you're good to go. How fun and, is that? And you have a pirate right there. I love it, or just pantyhose or sock. Really cute idea. Um, the one thing I notice is you don't have to go for the perfect pumpkin when you go pick them out. You no, know? then then more uh, odd it is, then better. Yeah. Because you can squeeze out of it really, really a lot. Just like with the plants, then more curvy and, uh, and the crooked it is, then, then really better to work with. So the first thing you do is look for the craziest, weirdest, bumpy, lumpy pumpkins and weird shapes, or even gourds. You don't have to use pumpkins. You can use exactly, gourds to exactly. carve, too. And then just regular knife, carve a little bit, and if you're not feeling, or if you're not really artistic, just use some items, like for any craft store, this is a weird uh, wig, uh, some Italian mask with uh, some creatures, and... Uh, and uh, Gummy good, worms? You, yes, and you're good to go, you're good to go. How cute is that? Now, this one, too, instead of, you actually kind of cut the back of the pumpkin so that that wig will, uh, I don't sits, know if you can sits see sits better, yes. Yeah, mm -hmm. sits better right on there. So, instead of just, you know, carving it the standard way, you know, go ahead and, um, you know, you don't have to just take the top mm -hmm. right off. Mm -hmm. Go ahead and make some, you know, cuts to make that. That's so cute. Really, really cool. And with, <laughs> the, with, the, with the cold weather, uh, cold weather will will preserve it. Oh, okay. Otherwise, you can help a little bit with the uh, hairspray. Okay. That will pre preserve a little bit longer. Speaking of hairspray, I love the hair on this guy. I love it's this one. It's just a sheet moss and, uh, and uh, made the, 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 his hair and uh, uh, eyebrows and the you good to go with that. That looks with like the me in the morning. Some, <laughs> some mornings without my makeup, yes, Deb would, uh, yeah, it does look Better like hair there, And right? the nails, these are just rusty nails. Mm -hmm. Just stick those in. How cute is that? How did you stick the, the, the moth? You can, you can either use with the nails or you can use toothpicks or just uh, crazy glue. Uh, it will work just as well as, as, as stick. Or you can even use like fish, fishing line. Uh, it tied it up around and, uh, and uh, you're good to go. And again, um, this isn't a, uh, an orange perfect pumpkin. It's one mm -hmm. of those great big uh, white pumpkins, which I love those. Are yes. those still in? <laughs> oh yeah. The oh, white yeah. pumpkins? Mm -hmm. All right, what about this guy here? Uh, this guy has a corn as a nose and a beautiful set of teeth and uh, <laughs> <laughs> of course sunglasses uh, that, that you're not using anymore or you can buy them as a reading glasses for $1.50 or, sure, or whatever. Sure. And it's, it's, it's good. You know what would be fun to do is just invite some friends over, get a bunch of pumpkins and just say everybody have, have at it. And have a little contest. Yes, you know? exactly. And of course, make sure that you'll serve some good food that you make yes. and a good glass of wine. Yes. Trust me, it will be evening to remember. Yes, absolutely. And last but not least, um, this is if, no carving involved. Talk about a great way to welcome someone to your home, put this you know, on a stand outside mm -hmm. your home. Or I think, Jan, just right um, you know, on your kitchen island or your dining room table. Tell me about this. First of all, we've got a, a nice bowl. This is old uh, dough bowl from Europe, uh, wood. Uh, it's, I would say, 120, 150 years old. Uh, and uh, you might want to line it with a plastic to protect the, the old wood. And uh, then you can even stick live plants uh, in between uh, if you like aster or mum or, or to, to, to make it more attractive. And then just uh, go nuts with the gourds. There are so very many different varieties right now mm -hmm. that head spins yes. that, that you can really create uh, anything. And some weeds from the, from the ditch, uh, dried grass, and uh, you have a really excellent centerpiece for your party. That looks like a million bucks. It really does. Thank you. Gorgeous. Thanks, John. Appreciate it. Thank you. My pleasure. Fun ideas. I want to come to this next pumpkin carving uh, party. Please do. I'll, I'll let you know. Okay. I'll let you know. All right. Good deal. <laughs>